This is called Simon. It's short for Psychological Monsters. <laughs> uh, it, you can get it through uh, Western Psychological Services or the Creative Therapy Store online. What's, what's psychological? Hmm? What's psychological? And that means it has to do with your uh, thoughts, feelings, and behavior. Psychological has a lot to do with your inner life. Okay, so we've got a board here. Move your arms. There we go. Put that right here. And then we've got all these different cards, all right? So the blue ones are the good guys, all right? And then the red ones, these are the bad guys, okay? These are inaccurate ways to think, or we might also call them uh, stupid ways to think. And then the blue guys are the good ways to think or smart ways to think, more accurate thoughts. All right? How many good guys are there? So here's the Negasaurus. What does it say about the Negasaurus? Mm, being negative? Uh huh. What's his method of attack? Um, don't count on the good stuff. Yeah, he tries to get you to only focus on the negative. All right, so we're going to put him here. So the opposite of that would be like the Countosaurus, right? What does the Countosaurus do? Um, reminds people to count their good qualities. Reminds you to count your good qualities, that's right. And this one is the extremist. He tries to get you to think that if it's not perfect, it's horrible. Do you know anyone that ever does that? Miles. Miles? No, I do not know that. I, I thought, I was kind of thinking about you. Oh, he is. Small. Like if you make a mistake sometimes when you're doing your homework and you're a little tired? Hmm? It seems horrible. I can remember when before you were two when you were eating a muffin and it broke in half and you just fell apart crying. Because now it was ruined, you know, because it broke in half. All right? So that's what the extremist tries to do. He tries to get you to think that it's, if it's not perfect, then it's terrible. All right? So a good, a smarter way to think to beat the extremist would be uh, like the shade. He tries to remind you that nothing is all good or all bad. Okay? His weapon is to help give you balance. All right? And then there's the emoticon. He tries to get you to think that just because you feel bad at the moment, that your whole life is bad. My whole life is horrible. I didn't get what I wanted for my birthday. The inflator. Inflator? Mm hmm. He tries to get you to think that little problems are huge problems. There's the think about, that's a good guy. Reminds you to stop and think and use your brain to see if what you're thinking is really true. Or there's the detective. He tries to get you to um, look at the facts or do some investigation before you decide what to think. There's the autocrat. He tries to think, get you stuck on what you should have done. Like with your retainer, okay? His, his, method, his, his, uh, his weapon is guilt trip. Well, he tries to make you feel bad. Hmm? Why well, should have done with my retainer? Yeah. Like you're thinking, I shouldn't have lost it. Why is it? I can't believe I lost it. I'm bad because I lost it. Oh. Yeah. The teacher asks a question. My finger's in the way. And Ron knows the answer. He shouts the answer out loud. The teacher tells him to raise his hand. Ron thinks she always gives me a bad, a hard time. She always gives me a hard time. So which one of these unwanted thinking patterns would be would be going on there with him. 
My reader? Well, he's not really making, he's not really trying to guess what she's thinking. Hmm. It's all your, um, the blamer? How about maybe the inflator? Because do you think it's really true that the teacher always gives him a hard time? Mm. Hmm? Probably not true, right? She just told him to raise his hand because uh, he shouted out the answer, right? She's not even really giving him a hard time, is she? Mm -mm. Uh huh. So, what would be a smarter way for him to think? Mm -hmm. How about this one, the shade? Sometimes she gives him a hard time, but not all the time. That would be more accurate and it would feel better, right? Mm -hmm. Let's try one more. Whoa. Read this one out loud. Carlos is up to bat in baseball. He thinks, I'm going to strike out and everybody is going to laugh at me. Hmm. He thinks, I'm going to strike out and everybody's going to laugh. Hmm. So which one would that be? Predictor. Good, that's right. The predictor. How does he know he's going to strike out? So the predict predictor's method of attack is doom and gloom. What would be a smarter way for him to think? Mm, I can do it.